Okay, all right, what is this one? <laughs> what? what the hell is that? What is going on with it? Okay, these are really good. Definitely, I like these, these are awesome. Have you heard about that insane new AI tool called Dolly 2 that's still in closed beta, but it effectively lets you generate pictures of anything by simply typing in what you want. And I'm not talking about that Dolly Mini version that is a free service that anyone can access. This is the big daddy real Dolly that is not accessible unless you join a waitlist. And finally, after months of being on that waitlist, I now have access. So I figured, let's have some fun with it. You've probably seen in a lot of my videos, I use stock photos and stock videos. And just as a goof, I like to put the text that I searched for for that particular stock photo or whatever. So for this video, I thought it'd be fun to have Dolly 2 go head to head against the stock photos I've used and we can use the exact same text searches I used for the stock photos and see what Dolly 2 generates with them and how they compare. And spoiler, some of the results are really bizarre, really weird, and some of them are astonishingly good. So let's go over to the computer and get started. All right, so here we are on the Dolly site, and this is where you type in the prompt that the AI will generate, and there's just a bunch of examples down here. So let's start off with a few. These are actually ones that I don't have stock images of. They're more stock videos, so I'll show some examples as we go through them. So first one is Angry Computer Man. So I'll show you what the videos look like that I've used, and we can wait for this to generate. It's going to gener generate four of them at a time. And <laughs> some of these are pretty cursed. Like, these are not exactly photorealistic. This one's, he doesn't look angry in this one. He looks like confused or something. This one is probably pretty good if it was a little bit more realistic. This one too is just disturbing. And then, yeah, all these, they show an angry computer man. They're just uh, not exactly the most realistic. We can now do sad computer man. So that I'll show you what the examples are that I normally use. And while this is generating, we can see what the, this thing spits out. These are actually way better. This this one's really good. This one's really good. This one, actually, this one is a little bit less accurate because of the eyes and the face and the glasses. But yeah, I mean, this one again is kind of cursed. The mouth is looking really weird. But this one is really good. I would not have known that this is necessarily AI generated. And this one too, you know, the glasses maybe a little bit off. The keyboard is looking weird. But if you just had like a quick millisecond to look at it, they would look pretty realistic. Now let's try Happy Computer Man. Let's see what this looks like. And these ones, yeah, these this one looks kind of weird. He's like staring off into the distance, thousand yard stare type of thing. This one's actually really accurate, except again for the face and the keyboard. These, it's got to work on its face generation. This one, does this guy, yeah, I don't, that's a weird face. <laughs> I don't know. This one, I, Again, all of them are pretty good except for the face. I don't know, these are probably ones that would be better just using a stock photo because these are, I mean, maybe as a joke. I'll probably use some of these as a joke at some point, but um, if I want to actually show a realistic uh, image, I'll definitely go with stock photos for people at least, but let's keep going. Let's do some images. These are now images that I have and I actually have them saved so we can actually see exactly what an image and not just a video would compare. So this one is computer detective. So this is the best one for a stock photo I could come up with and I don't remember the context for what I was using it for. As for the AI, all right, you know, these are, this one's okay. This one's like, I could see that being used. It's kind of weird looking. I don't really like the 3D style. It looks like it's from the 1990s. Uh, this one actually, the woman's wearing a hat. Actually, you know, I think the way that she's wearing the hat and the glasses kind of obscures the fact that it's kind of oddly generated. So you could, that would probably be passable. This one as well, uh, the glasses again are kind of weird. This one, the face is weird, but I could actually sort of see, I don't know where the top hat and the tuxedo came from, but yeah, I mean, all of these, I think maybe the next generation of Dolly, these are going to be obviously pretty usable. All right, now let's try computer in trash. So this is what it looks like before. This is the best one I could find, guy putting computer in the trash. Although I might have to try a different prompt because it might just show a computer in the trash, not someone putting it there. Yeah, this is just showing a computer in the trash can. That might have actually been what I was looking for before. So these are actually pretty good. This one actually is, I think, really realistic. You can't really tell what else is in the trash can. This one, it's a weird looking trash can, but that looks more like a monitor. This one's not bad. This one's pretty good as well. It's kind of a weird looking trash can, but realistic nonetheless. It's like electronic junk in general. Let's say man putting computer in trash. Okay, all right, this one, again, the faces are off, but 
you know, you could probably just like generate this and maybe Photoshop a face onto it or something to be more realistic. This one, oh man, what is going on there? It looks like he's, his hands all messed up. This one, it looks like he's getting ready to put it into the trash. This one, I don't know what that is. What, it looks like he's holding the trash can. I don't know what's happening in this one. The face is, again, really bizarre. I don't know if I would use any of these. Again, I think the stock photo wins. But now we can maybe try some that aren't necessarily people. So we can do computer memory. This is a stock photo I came up with. Let's say computer memory sticks. And I definitely think it will do a better job with objects so we can see. Okay, it didn't really interpret what I meant. It looks like these are USB sticks or SD cards. Let's try computer RAM sticks. And I have to be careful because I only have 50 prompts a day. Okay, this one, you know, it's weird looking RAM, but at least it had the idea right. This one too. Uh, these are lined up. These are not bad. This one actually looks a little bit blurry, but maybe you could sharpen it up and this could be usable. Not as good as I was hoping, but there might just not be as many samples of it. Let's try computer on fire. I have high hopes for this one. These ones that I used before had people in them, but I don't necessarily need that. Okay, wow, these are really good. This one I'm really happy with in general. Uh, the keyboard's looking weird. Uh, this one is pretty good, and you could maybe even argue that it was just melting as it burned, but the fire looks really good in these, I think. This one, again, kind of weird computer-wise, but, you know, the fire looks good. I, I would probably be happy with using something like this. Now we can try confused business people. I'm really interested to see what this one looks like. The stock photo is pretty much exactly what I was looking for, just people kind of staring at a computer, although I didn't specify a computer in this one, but we'll see what it does. Okay, <laughs> okay, uh, a little bit cursed face again. This one, you know, they do look confused, certainly. This one, they look a bit worried. This one, there looks like they're looking to phone or something, a bit confused. Again, not bad. I don't know if these are actually usable because the faces are not real realistic, but you can see what it was going for. And again, these do not exist. So compared to it not existing at all before, not bad. Now let's try confused guy looking at computer. Give it a bit more specific instruction. Okay, this one, uh, <laughs> these, these faces, man. This one, again, he looks weird. It's a weird looking face, but the arm, the, you know, the computer, all passable. This one, it, you can tell he's looking at a computer, I guess. This one might be usable, you know, if it was small enough. This one, the face is really weird, but the rest of it, besides the glasses, man, they really got to work on these faces, but the rest of it is really good. But let's try one that, again, has no people in it. Gaming computer. This one will be interesting because I want to see if it throws in some RGB. This is what it looked like, the real one. Uh, there was a couple, actually. Let's see what this does. Okay, you know what? This one is really good. This one is awesome. I like this. It really looks like a gaming computer. It's got like a wire hanging off it and stuff. Uh, this one looks like just the side panel. Maybe not super realistic, kind of weird looking. This is like some kind of close-up shot. I don't know what this is, like a, a keyboard, something. Uh, this one looks, it's got the whole monitor and stuff. So this one is probably the only usable one, I would think. This one looks really good, actually. I'd, I'd buy that case. Now let's do one that is a bit of a challenge. So the prompt I searched for this one was happy dad annoyed mom. And the context was it was a Wi-Fi video and it was supposed to be like the jealous girlfriend meme where the guy wants to use Wi-Fi 7 instead of the old Wi-Fi 6 or something like that. So that's what the context was. Let's see what it comes up with. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is that? What, what on earth is that? I don't... I don't know what these... Let's ignore the weird faces. This one kind of makes sense. Uh, what is that? These faces, man. <laughs> I don't know what, how this follows the prompt. It's supposed to be happy dad, annoyed mom. Uh, look at the mouth on that one. This does not look at all what I wanted. They both look happy in this one. This one, I, I think, is again, is the only accurate one. These just are really disturbing. Let's move on to Happy Hacker. So this is just the actual one. It was like a guy, thumbs up with the computer. You know, stereotypical hacker with the hoodie, sunglasses. Let's see what Dolly thinks a hacker looks like. Okay, all right, these are actually pretty good. The faces are kind of weird, again, as usual, but, you know, the, the, they got the stereotypical hoodie. This one, it, like, they're smiling at least. This one looks like some kind of demon. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, this one is actually really accurate, I think. The, again, the eyes are a bit weird, maybe the teeth, but this is pretty much what I would have been looking for in a stock photo. Now let's try happy 
person reading paper. So I don't remember the context for what I needed for this, but this is what I got, pretty much exactly what it describes. Let's see what Dolly thinks. Okay, this one is really good. Wow, this one is super accurate. Look at this. I, Besides maybe the eyes, the rest of it looks exactly correct. Uh, this one again, maybe the, the strange looking eyes, it looks a bit, guy looks a bit, uh, asymmetrical, but you know, he's like got multiple papers in there. That's pretty cool. Uh, this one, the guy looks, I mean, really happy. I don't know what he's reading there, but uh, he looks like he got some good news there. And this is again, pretty good. You know, it's a bit cut off. Not exactly what I was looking for, but you can tell that the rest of it. Uh, this one's actually pretty good, I think, overall compared to some of the other ones. This one especially right here. Now let's try one that's a little bit more abstract, healthy hard drive. And this one was one that was tougher to find even as a stock photo. So this is what I got. It's just kind of like a, I don't know, just some illustrated people. Okay, this one, uh, interesting that they kind of combined like the healthy foods and like a doctor's stethoscope with the hard drive. That's really interesting. I never would have thought of that. This, I don't, I don't know if that's a hard drive. That's a weird looking hard drive. It's like circular, <laughs> but uh, this one, that's like an apple and a hard drive platter. <laughs> this is a more interesting prompt. Um, not really what I was expecting. This one is probably the most accurate, even though it doesn't really show a whole hard drive, but you can see what it was thinking. It was thinking healthy fruits, doctor, there's a stethoscope and all these. This one's just kind of like a hard drive in general, but very interesting what it was thinking here. All right, here's some, one that hopefully will be a little bit easier for it, M.2 SSD. So I have a couple that I generated, one was multiple. Let's just try and do one, M.2 SSD drive. Okay, and it's not an M.2 drive, that's for sure. This one is probably the closest looking one, but these are not M.2 drives. They look like some kind of PCI device. This one looks kind of like an SD card. It might not have been trained on M.2 drives or maybe the people who are classifying the images didn't know to call it M.2 drive. So I would definitely think this is a, a not good prompt. You can sort of see what it was going for, but not, not happy with that one. Okay, now let's try another one that's a little bit more abstract and does have a person. So the prompt for this one was man secret computer. And I forget what the context was, but generally wanted it to be like a guy who was being secretive with the computer, something like that. So the, the stock photo is pretty good, I think. And let's see what Dolly thinks. Okay, all right, what is this one? <laughs> What the hell is that? What is going on with it? I don't even know how to describe. Yeah, I don't know what that one is. This one, okay, you can sort of see what it's going for. Again, the the hoodie, you know, it's being secretive, I guess. This one, okay, actually, this is pretty accurate. He's like kind of looking a little bit suspicious. The lock is in there, the lock concept. He's, he's looking kind of stern. I could see why it would, this is not bad, actually. That's kind of good. This one, the guy's just kind of sitting there. The only secret aspect of it, again, I see is kind of the hoodie. Uh, I think this one is probably maybe okay. This one is pretty good. Maybe if there was some other kind of secret aspect to it, but this one, <laughs> this one is, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. How about this next one? Person shipping box. This one I think should have some good training data. It seems relatively simple. Okay, this one is good. The face, you know, I would probably just Photoshop in a real face into that, but okay, this one too. It looks like something out of the Jacob's Ladder movie. You guys ever seen that? Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, this is like, this could be usable too if you didn't need an actual person. This one looks exactly like something that might be produced in a 3D program. So these are really good if you wanted that style. This one would be good if the face was better, but all right, I can see what I was going for. Okay, another one that is a little bit, a little bit more abstract. Let's try radio signals. So this is what we had. And again, with you're searching for a stock photo, you have a lot of results that you can look through. Whereas Dolly, you only get four. So that is one advantage again of the stock photos in addition to being realistic, you get a lot more options for what you wanna look for. Okay, this one, see, it's looking more like icons that it generated. This is not really what I was hoping for. This, if I needed some icons of a radio signal, but not really what I was going for. Let's try another one, SATA connector. So this one should be straightforward. If it knows what a SATA connector is, Okay, it generated connectors. None of these are SATA connectors, but you can tell this one is probably the closest. It looks like some kind of connector. This one looks like a Molex of some kind. This one is the closest one, I think. 
you can sort of see that it maybe had a rough idea of what it's supposed to look like. This looks like a port, not a connector. So it seems like it might be able to be better at generating like more general terms as opposed to some very specific type of thing. Okay, let's try one scared computer man. This one will probably be funny. Here's a couple examples of ones that I've used. I'm really interested to see what this spits out. <laughs> okay, we got really cursed eyes in this one, but he definitely looks scared. Okay, this one actually is pretty good. You know, the I, the keyboard, he's like hunched over at the keyboard. This one's pretty good, I think. Uh, this one, guys, he looks a little bit surprised, but it's probably maybe the most accurate out of them. This one, I don't know what, what he's doing with that. I guess that's a computer down there. The cursed faces everywhere, but probably this one's the most accurate. This one maybe is, it may be usable. If people knew it was AI and were like, uncanny valley this one the guy looks the most scared his hands kind of messed up again with some more training i could see it being really real realistic let's try a different one shocked confused person and let's throw at computer on there so we can see what it actually looks like all right all right Th this guy has cataracts apparently that's this one that definitely looks concerned i don't know if she looks shocked and confused definitely concerned and confused this guy this guy looks shocked and confused the glasses are kind of messed up this guy definitely looks a bit flabbergasted. It looks like he's got a glass eye. If I had to pick one that actually described shocked and confused person, I'd probably use this one. You know, the, the eyes are kind of messed up, but probably the most accurate here. Let's try um, just shocked man computer. So this is what I got from the actual stock photo, shocked man computer. And we can see what Dolly thinks. Wow, these are actually pretty good. This one, he it almost looks like a drawing kind of. You can see it, and I think that actually helps to the accuracy. This one, the guy is definitely shocked. The eyes are messed up. Maybe I'll try some that uh, is a drawing and see how it looks better. This one, the guy definitely looks shocked. I like these. This one, he looks concerned. I really do like these. Again, what I say it literally every time. The faces are messed up, but the rest of it is really awesome. Let's try a shocked man computer illustration and see how it fares with that instead. Okay, all right, these are actually really good. Wow, this one, these are really good. Look at this, this is definitely usable. Okay, uh, this, it's a little, the face is still kind of messed up, but because it's a drawing, I feel like you could probably get away with using it maybe. This one is really good. You can tell it's got like that uh, little anime shocked icon that people use. And this one looks really, really good. Like, wow. Okay, I am impressed with this. So it seems like if it, it's better at drawing faces uh, with illustration characteristics than like realistic. So I'm really impressed with this. This one would definitely be usable. This one is probably the best, I think. Look at this. this that's really good, actually. Let's try another one. This one might be a little bit entertaining. Man smashes computer. So this one in the stock photo, it's like on fire. Up. Oh, content policy. Bruh. I can't have it smashing the computer. Really? All right, let's try one a little bit more tame. Uh, man breaks computer. How about that? Okay, all right. Uh, not really what I was going for. Again, I don't know what that object is. <laughs> and then... Oh, what is going on with this face? It looks like something out of a horror movie. This one, the guy definitely, well, you know what? You could argue that whatever that is, he definitely broke it. So he looks very proud that he broke this computer. <laughs> this one, it's not really a broken computer. This one, the computer looks broken. I, I really wish that I could generate the other one, but I really don't want my account to get banned. So we'll have to maybe pass on that one. Let's try this next one though. Suspicious person on computer. And this... This stock photo is pretty exactly what I was looking for. Person with a suspicious expression on their face. I think it's gonna have trouble with this one. Okay, I mean, they're at the computer. This one actually is not too bad. This person looks a bit suspicious, not as suspicious and obviously suspicious as the stock photo. Um, this guy just kind of looks, you know, ignoring the weirdness of the face. He just kind of looks confused maybe. Uh, this person, uh, they're like, they're thinking. This one, eh, you know, you could say they're kind of suspicious, but like not suspicious at the computer, you know what I mean? So, all right, this one is probably the only thing. He's kind of got his uh, mouth looking like he's thinking and suspicious, so maybe more accurate. So let's try another one, suspicious phone, and I'll add person. So you can kind of see, it, they look more confused in the stock photo, but okay, they don't really look suspicious. They look, this one kind of does. He's like a bit concerned, maybe. These other ones that are just like angry. This lady maybe looks a bit suspicious of what's on the phone. This guy looks angry. This person's shocked. 
And maybe we'll come back and do some of these to make sure I have enough prompts. We'll try some of these as illustrations. Let's try this one, Thinking Computer Man. So the stock photo is pretty straightforward. It's just a guy, looks like he's thinking, staring at a computer screen. Okay, all right. This laptop apparently has no screen attached to it. This one, he definitely looks like he's thinking. Okay, it looks like more like a tablet. You know, what's interesting is these all kind of look like they're the same person. I wonder if they were all kind of sampling the same part of the data set. This one, yeah, this one actually looks pretty good. He's definitely thinking. Definitely looking at a very small laptop, but they all look pretty good. A bit off, but decent. I don't know if I'd use any of these, but it got the idea. Okay, this one's gonna be pretty interesting. Thumbs up punch computer. Now, I actually had to combine two images. The image was a guy punching through the screen, and then I took another image of a thumbs up and I combined them. So let's see if it can actually do what I wanted initially with the stock photo as one thing. Man punching computer thumbs up. Oh, I remember the context. I was saying smash the thumbs up button so hard that you hit through the screen or something like that. Okay, they're not punching the computer, any of them. Maybe the AI doesn't have any punching data because it was too violent, but they're all definitely giving thumbs up. This one looks actually really accurate. Okay, this one's really good. The face is decent. He's like leaning over the computer. It cut off the most important part, which is the thumbs up, but this one's actually pretty good too. He's kind of like winking. A little bit off some artifacts, but this one's pretty good too. This guy's really happy. Let's see if we can get a little bit more accurate. Man punching through computer screen with thumbs up. Okay, this one, it, it interpreted it not what I was asking for, but you can see that it actually did a really good job based on what it thought I was trying to do. Like, it's coming out of the computer screen, which is really interesting. I didn't even think of that, but... Like this one, this is actually really good. It's like punching through the computer screen. I'm impressed. This guy's like coming out of the screen. Uh, this is really good too. <laughs> this guy, he's not giving a thumbs up, but okay, this is actually really impressive. It got like the perspective, not what I was hoping for, but I'm glad that I tried it because this shows that it actually is really capable. If it knows exactly what you're asking for, it does a really good job because there's probably not many stock photos of this. If you were to search for this, there's probably not many of them. So pretty cool. All right, we got a couple more we can try. Worried computer man. So this one, the stock photo is just kind of like, hmm, I don't know what's going on. All right, these are really good. You could tell, yep, this guy's definitely worried. He's at the computer. This one's pretty accurate actually. This one's really accurate. It doesn't seem like it's distorted at all. I don't know if he looks worried as much as intense. You could definitely say he looks worried. This guy <laughs> looks a little bit more than worried. He looks like terrified, but okay. This one looks really good too. This is really accurate. He, he definitely looks worried, concerned. I like how they kind of all have the hands on the face. Like that's definitely something you do if you're worried. I kind of like all of these. This one probably the least accurate with the face, but overall, I, I think these are really good generations. All right, so finally we can do one more and then kind of go back and try some as illustrations and see how it does better. So the last one is worried people in server room. So you can see the stock photo, they're kind of they're kind of looking at the server and you can tell they're kind of worried by the guy even without looking at their face you can tell so i'm interested to see how dolly handles it okay <laughs> wow these are actually really good oh, wow well i don't know what's going on with this guy's face it looks really distorted but like he's got his hands over it this woman definitely looks concerned like this one's really good again the faces and the hands are weird but they definitely look worried this person the face is all messed up it's weird that it has like this flash the lighting is strange on this one this one, the guy, I don't, oh my God, he's got like, he's like a cyclops. I don't know what's happening here. I guess you can kind of tell he's worried just by the, the hand position, but yeah, you know, just the right amount of curse in these. Let's try and do maybe a couple with, as drawings. So let's do suspicious person on computer illustration. Okay. All right. Yeah. These are, these are really good. This one, he looks suspicious. Yeah. He's like thinking, he's like, Hmm, I don't know about this. This person, he looks a little bit more angry. I don't know what he's got in his hands, like chopsticks or something. This one's really good. Like you can tell with the eyes, she's she's a little bit suspicious, definitely. A little bit more angry. This guy looks more confused, but yeah, it definitely does a really good job with illustrations, clearly. So it seems like if you want something really accurate and realistic, you got to go with a stock photo. But if you want something that's like an illustration that just illustrates a concept, 
it, it does a really good job with those. Let's try Happy Hacker. Okay, all right, I can see what it's going for. This one's really good, really good. It, you know, the computer, you can see it, it, it is on a table, okay. This one, it's it spelled hacker a bit strangely, but I mean, you could you could argue that's just a stylistic choice, all right? <laughs> he looks really happy, he's got like the sunglasses. I really like that, that's funny. Uh, this woman, she's, give it a thumbs up. Clearly looks like a hack with the sunglasses. I like these, I like these a lot. This one, it doesn't really do a good job with text, not at all. This one has got like the skull. He's definitely happy. These are pretty good. Let's try uh, some more ones that we did at the beginning. Sad computer man illustration. Wow, this one's really good. It's more like an illustration. It's like halfway between a photo and an illustration. He definitely looks sad. This one is like a really rough sketch. Not really what I was going for, but this one's really good too. This one, you can even tell, like, it's hiding the face, but even the this small part of the face and in such a rough, basic style, you can still tell that he's very sad. This is really good. It's really good at these illustrations, I think. Let's try Angry Computer Man. Yeah, these are really good. Way better than before. It's like clip art. I don't know if I... I'd probably rather go with a stock photo if I was needed to, but if it was something that I needed a image of a person doing something strange that is not gonna have a lot of stock photos and illustration is the way to go. Yeah, these are all really good. All right, let's try something more obscure where there might not be a stock photo of it. Okay, let's try this. Hacker man on unicycle, smiling, holding laptop. There, there's probably not many stock photos of this. We'll see what happens. Oh, I forgot to put illustration. All right, we'll, we'll see what it does as a photo and then we'll compare it with an illustration. Okay, all right. Uh, these are not unicycles, these two. This looks like a unicycle, but it's got handlebars. The faces are not great, that's kind of what I was expecting, but I mean, they're all holding some kind of laptop. Okay, let's try with illustration. A little bit better. This one, you know what? This one is really good. This is pretty much the closest, I think, to what I was looking for. He definitely looks happy. He's definitely on a unicycle. He's holding a laptop. It looks like he may be falling off. <laughs> I don't know about that. I guess that's kind of like a unicycle, not a bicycle. He's definitely happy. A bicycle, again. This looks like he's doing some BMX or something. Not bad, not bad. This one's really good, actually, I think. If I needed a photo of a happy hacker man riding a unicycle, I would go with this one. I think I'm running out of prompts, so let's try a couple more. Let's try thumbs up computer man. I actually remember using this in some kind of video at some point. All right, all right, these are pretty good. Yeah, they're not the most realistic. Let's try realistic illustration, see how it interprets that. Okay, you can sort of see, this one's probably the most accurate, I think this is really good. It's, again, almost like a halfway between a photo illustration. These ones are a bit weird looking. This one's really good, I think. The second one. Let's try something a little bit more weird. Let's try scared computer man Van Gogh painting. Or Van Gogh, I believe, if you're in the UK. Some pronounce it. Okay. <laughs> wow. I like these. This one's not a painting. These are really good. Yeah, definitely. I like these. These are awesome. Look, it's even got like the window, definitely the style of Van Gogh. This is pretty cool. Yeah, definitely if you need like some kind of illustration that doesn't have to be picture perfect. Where else are you going to find a scared computer man Van Gogh style painting? It doesn't exist. And I was going to do one more, but I have reached the limit. So this is the last one, but I'm, I think it's a good one to end on. Definitely really cool. All right, so hopefully none of those are gonna give you any nightmares, but let me know which was your favorite. You can just let me know down in the comments, and of course, maybe smash that like button so hard that it does go through the screen. And of course, consider subscribing, maybe check out the rest of the videos on my channel, see if you like any. If you wanna keep watching, the next video I'd recommend is one where I was talking about whether you should install software on Windows using the .exe version of the installer or .msi. You might not have known there was a difference, so you can check that out right there and click on that. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.